Hey guys, I wanted to make a tutorial here on how to use these stock factory images to go back to completely stock Android on your Nexus devices. I'll be doing this on my Nexus 4 right now, it has a custom ROM and custom kernel. Android 4.3 has recently been released and yeah, I want to go back to completely stock. This means you will lose your custom recovery, you'll lose root and using this method you will also lose all your data as well. That does include all your apps and all your internal storage. For example, all your pictures in your gallery will go the 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 files in your download folder will go everything will go so make sure you back up everything you want or put it on the cloud whatever you want to do but this is the best way to start afresh and I've been flashing so many different ROMs on here it's probably a mess in the internal storage so I think I need to start afresh so that's what I'm going to do now you will need the Android SDK so go ahead and download that if you haven't got it already and yeah I'll put all the links in the description but the first thing you'll need is the stock image so we'll type in stock Google images right here that's as simple as it is factory images for Nexus devices this will work for pretty much all the Nexus devices that are around right now you can see the Nexus 10 Android 4.3 is available Nexus 4 4.3 Nexus 7 4.3 and the Galaxy Nexus as well 4.3 I think that's pretty much all the ones that I've got so I'm doing this on the Nexus 4 so I'm going to want to download the Android 4.3 one here and it is the link at the top we'll just scroll up so you can see that factory images Occam for Nexus 4 4.3 click the link it will start downloading this raw file and you can see it's going to take a minute but I've actually already got it so we'll just quickly cancel this and close that out so here it is now you want to actually extract this so double click it I'm sure a lot of you have used WinRAR before and you know exactly what it's about for some reason my computer is being stupidly slow today but it will eventually open um, there we go and here's the file so or folder I should say you want to extract this just click extract and extract it on the desktop you'll be left with this folder right here and here it is so you can see right here you can see the bootloader you can see the new radio and in here you don't have to actually do this I just want to show you you can see the boot image this is the new kernel the new recovery the new system so Android 4.3 and the user data this is the bit that's going to wipe your internal storage so that's it that's Android 4.3 so what you actually want to do now is get your device again make sure everything is backed up because you will lose it you need to turn it off and put it into bootloader mode so I have a custom recovery right now a custom custom ROM so it allows me to uh, just reboot whoops I took a screenshot don't worry that's gonna go right now reboot fast boot if you don't have that option all you have to do is turn it off and hold down and power and you will get to fast boot mode you'll see exactly what it's like in a minute and apparently my computer is performance is slow so that's the bootloader mode that's what you want that's fast boot that is what we're looking for go ahead and plug your device into your computer with the USB cable okay there we go so it's plugged in and what we want to do now is head over to the Android SDK so wherever you've installed this mine's right here see SDK you want to go into platform tools and you can see here ADB fast boot this is for Windows by the way pretty damn obvious and what I'm gonna do right now just to make this a bit easier is just copy and paste basically all these files into the directory where my fast boot is so you can see that's not gonna take very long it's actually really simple to do this guys it's it's not that hard once you know all the stuff with fast boot and there we go so I've actually copied and pasted CMD here you can obviously just navigate to this if you want to but this makes it easier for me so you open it up here and here we go so first off just type fast boot devices make sure your device is connected in fast boot mode you can see this is my device right here connected in fast boot mode so we want to flash it all and here it is flash all dot bat so we're just going to type here flash all dot bat boom it goes it does it all you can see writing bootloader my bootloader is now redone sending the radio you can see at the bottom it says writing I don't know if you can see that there but that's it it's doing it all at the end of this we are going to have Android 4.3 so I just want to mention here, using the factory images, you will have everything new. For example, you will have the new bootloader, you will have the new radio. Sometimes when you install the, the uh, a ROM using the using a custom recovery through the XDA developers website, 
sometimes you have to separately flash the radio and bootloader so this will do it all for you everything will be up to date using this method so it's definitely worth it and like I said you get a clean start which is always a good thing in my opinion so it looks like it's pretty much done here it says press any key to continue so that's it and if we uh, if I hold up the device here this is going to be completely fresh so it's not rooted it doesn't have a custom recovery the only thing that did stick is probably the bootloader my bootloader was already unlocked so this is still unlocked it doesn't relock your bootloader doing this but this is going to be stock Android 4.3 and a completely clean start so I know I keep mentioning that but sometimes it is important to have a clean start because once you've been flashing so many different ROMs and kernels things get left behind and they can mess it up and slow it down so if you have been doing loads of custom ROMs and kernels like I have I would suggest a clean start I know it's a little bit of effort to get all your apps and all your images and backed up and all that stuff but it is worth it it's gonna just lead to a smoother device and you're gonna get less problems at the end of the day as well obviously on the initial boot it does take a little bit of time so we'll uh, we'll just wait this out you're pretty much done over here on the computer now though so we'll just wait out okay and there we go it's just booted up you can see I'm just gonna go through this really quickly just to make sure it is actually Android 4.3 after all this just a sec come on Windows has detected your computer performance is slow oh really cheers Windows thanks so here we go we're just carrying on with the setup so I'm just gonna skip through this right now skip in away yes I have a Google account but I don't want to use it right now moving on I just will type my name in because you know it's a fresh start Google services your phone is set up and ready to use and there it is completely stock completely fresh nothing on the internal storage we'll quickly dive into the settings here about phone and there you can see it the Android version 4 hopefully you can see that Android version 4.3 the build number is the latest build you now have the latest radio the latest bootloader yeah that is as simple as it is now you can go ahead and install titanium backup drag the folder back over and start to pull your apps back over or you can just get them from the Play Store but either way it's a fresh start peace out